So, men, uh, lazy, greedy, always thinking about sex. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you hear that, that little nervous laughter there? It was all, all male laughter as well. <laughs> but it turns out that's, that's right, at least for Catholic men who go to confession, according to a survey released by the Vatican this week. Whereas good Catholic women are not so good when it comes to pride, envy or anger. But they can pride themselves on not being at all slothful. Well, are men's sins worse than women's? Uh, Annette Edgerton, a belly dancer, you have, you've seen women envying you and you've had men lusting after you. Are men... Are, 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 yeah, it's true. Over the years, you've been belly dancing for an awful long time. Do you, do you think that women are as lustful as men, for example? Well, take, uh, outside the belly dancing, yes. Uh, everybody varies. It, people are more, sec, uh, more, uh, are more interested in sex than others. And I think it, it falls even across the globe. Literally, I don't think... Same sex drive, men and women. Same sex drive, yes. I think control, religious... Um, controls, uh, try and control it. You shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and it's better if you don't do this. It's better. But let's but look at that. lust is a bad thing, isn't it? No, lust might not necessarily be a bad thing. The outcomes of it can be extreme. Every day when we walk down the street, all the sins flicker through our head. And I think this is what the Vatican is talking about, really. They've made it into seven big chunks, uh, the seven deadly sins. But we all do things and we check ourselves because we're not going to go to the extreme of lust. We're not going to lust after somebody so much that we must have them against everything and we'll wait somewhere and knife their wife. That's not what we're going to do. Neither are we going to be so lacking in lust that we don't ever see anybody that we fancy so we never get pregnant. Mm. Because the outcome of lust, the positive outcome of lust is you see somebody well, men, you fancy are, you, them. you don't think men are necessarily more lustful than women. What do you think? You used to be a man. <laughs> yes. And now, Ricky, you're a woman. So, uh, do, you, um, do you miss the lust? Oh, God, no. No, I don't. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, what was it like? What, what was the difference? It was, it was a real major change because I, I think, yeah, I'm going to make a comment about me, but it's a comment I hear back from a lot of women. I was quite driven by it. You're constantly thinking about sex and you're driven by that. The erection doesn't, you don't decide to have one, it happens all by itself. And I think there is a whole tendency for you to need to get rid of it, that. Well, once just moderate got, the language here on sorry, it. I'm, I'm blushing. Um, sorry, no, I'm just, I'm just keep, trying to keep medical. Okay, keep it yeah. But I, th I think it is that, it's about that sort of sex drive, which, which went. Once I started taking to, um, you went from estrogen, te te est testosterone to estrogen, Testos big then, difference. Then all of that changed, and suddenly everything becomes much more about relationships. Doesn't mean I still don't have a sex drive, but it's not that sort of driving um, sex. And I, I, I find it a totally different, totally different environment, mm. and much more enjoyable. Mm. Um, David, you're here with your wife as well, uh, Claire. Do you, I mean, Claire, first, do you, think, do you think men and women are different biologically, sexually? Do you think men have that drive that Ricky used to have? Um, I think I'd be inclined to say that women are more... The whole sex thing is to do with relationships and building up a relationship, not sex on its own. And I think I'd probably think that men can have a purely sexual relationship which doesn't involve a, a kind of wider social relationship with somebody else. Mm. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, I find it really hard to think it's about biology because if you look at particular cultures, say young people and Ladette culture, you see that women are just as lustful in the way that we're maybe describing lust for men. So it depends, I think, on the culture how that lust is created. <laughs> and interestingly, of course, what we're talking about here are the sins that people confessed. Mm. So it's how you perceive mm. lust. To maybe, an elderly virgin or man. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. maybe what, you know, men perceive things as lust, whereas women perceive them in another way. Maybe, yeah, maybe women, uh, Douglas Murray, women were just l less uh, relaxed about talking about their lustful thoughts to uh, a priest than a man might be. He's a 95-year-old priest, wasn't he? <laughs> I have to say, I would go to a nonagenarian virgin for advice on this matter about last in the whole scheme of things. <laughs> but um, but uh, I, I agree that the issue is confession. It's very interesting. Uh, young men in society in particular would be much more keen to confess to lust than say just to something boring like uh, gluttony. <laughs> uh, um, and, and I suppose a lot of, a lot of women might be, might be slightly more coy about uh, confessing to lust uh, first off. I don't know. Other people might disagree with that. Let's just look at the whole thing of lust. Uh, if you're By just l lusting after somebody, <laughs> is a, is a, 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 to encourage people to lust. But ladies that come to my class, they're concerned about all sorts of things. They're concerned about when women get to a certain age, go through the menopause. 
they, they start, men, men's eyes don't look at them in the same way they did when they were young and nubile. Mm. And so women, because we live in a society which wants youth and beauty, we focus on that so much, I think, wrongly. And you're so much more envious now than you used to be, aren't you? Now that you're a woman. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a, we're pride and envy, the number one and the number two for women, you know. I don't, I, well, I don't know whether, no, I, I, envy's never been a problem for me. I probably get a bit of anger sometimes. Mm. Well, mm. What, I think one of, what's interesting about the six that have been picked up is one's missing, and that's avarice. Mm. And when we look at what's happened in the sort of financial situation at the moment, it's predominantly men's greed. It's bottom for women, and it's in the middle for men, avarice. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you like to say? You're a l lesbian couple, yeah? Yes, we're in a civil partnership. I think this sort of, this division of sort of male or female is, is, it, it's not a genuine division, it's about personality. Like within our relationship, I'm a very fiery person, so you mm. could say that I have the sin of anger, and you're less fiery than me, aren't you? I think you could say. So, I, so, so, so we're, we're both female, so it's, yeah. it's, not, it's not to do with us being angry women, it's, it's to do with our different personalities, and we are, like many heterosexual couples, we are sort of balanced in an opposite way. But I wonder, are there biological a basis for our, for our different sins. Well, I, I think it's what's particularly interesting about the difference between the, the, the top ones for men, men, and, men and women is, is that pride and envy are both very much about social relationships. In other words, I think it, it's the counterside to women's perhaps greater capacity for empathy and to, to valuing relationships because pride and envy are both about where you position yourself in the group. Are you better than other people or worse than other people? Is that so more important on. for women, do you think? Yes, I, th I think women are much more attuned to perhaps to social relationships and, and the, the finer points there, whereas men, their, their sins are about individual needs and, and the problem with lust is, is that it's about sex without a relationship. So I, th I think men have a problem about wanting their needs met without having to have a relationship. And men are more capable of that, aren't they? I mean, uh, uh, Anjem Chaudhry, I know you want to come in. I'll come to you in a second. but. You don't, when, aren't, for example, you, you hear about these cruising areas for gay men, you don't hear about it for gay women, um, or, or, or women and men, it's just, isn't that the hypothesis in action, that men are more capable of anonymous brief encounters? I think you do hear of it mm. uh, with men and women. Uh, I, Not so much, though, we, do you, Anne? Maybe we read different papers. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, maybe not so much. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Uh, this, so why this, is might that? Be a, this might be a cultural thing as well. For a lot of gay men, uh, they grew up at a time when it was much harder to meet other gay men and so on. Uh, that sort of arrangement, and actually quite a long way in the past, certainly for my generation of gay men, I don't think that that's, mm. that's normal at all. Mm. Mm. Tani, did you want to come in? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's very interesting. I read the research, but also I think it's still true in our culture that men's and women's sins are treated very differently. Mm. You know, when I was at university, it was okay for guys to sleep around because they were lads, and if a girl did the same thing, then she was called all sorts of dreadful derogatory names. And, yeah. have, have I been envious of someone else's shoes or someone else's bike? Yes, but has my husband probably, maybe not the shoes, but he's been envious of someone else's bike? It's, mm. it's, it's that, that extreme as well, and yeah. what would be really nice if we actually, I think, treated men and women more equally, which we don't currently do at all. Mm. And a, this is a, a very proud county. We're in Yorkshire today. You live with six women, don't you? Yeah, I live We're with We're not them. debating polygamy today. <laughs> but we'll, but we'll, <laughs> no, they're your flatmates, and you're yeah. from York University Rugby Club. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you see their, their envy in full effect? And um, their pride? Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> more and more lust, I think. Um, yeah. I think uh, men and women, young men and young women, both. Um, both are lustful, but I think men tend to show it more often and more uh, outwardly than, than women. I mean, but when, women, when they're together, collectively, will show yeah, exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. You put a lot of men, a lot of young men or a lot of young women together on, a, on any night out in York. You just need to see the example. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very loud, it's very brash, yeah. and it's very out there. Anjan, you wanted to come in. I was going to say that, uh, you know, God created us with certain instincts and desires, and uh, the natural way to fulfill that, according to the divine law, is within the institution of marriage. Mm. However, the society will exploit you, and it will, will pollute your fitra, your natural disposition, and that may manifest itself in ways which are not allowed by God, through, for example, being gay, lesbian, or having a relationship outside of marriage. But as far as sin is concerned, I would say that, you know, Allah created everyone subject to mistake. But the best amongst us are those who correct ourselves and they seek forgiveness. So I don't think that women are necessarily more sinful than men. It's a question of seeking repentance and recognizing your mistakes. What's, what's, your, what's your worst sin then? Is it, is it lust um, or is it uh, sloth? Or I, is have, it I, I make many gluttony. mistakes. Um, Which is your worst, would you say? Well, uh, 
I have many mistakes and I think for the Muslims, you know, this is between me and my creator. I ask forgiveness and inshallah he will forgive me. Mm. Okay, and thoughts from the audience. Back, back here. Yes, what would you like to say, sir? There we go. Uh, uh, there's one very obvious evidence of difference between men and women. Just go to prisons and ask yourself, are there more women than more men in prison? The answer is clearly not. Most prisons are full of men. And that would indicate that men have the vice of anger and violence to a much greater extent than women do. Well, that's interesting.